so it's currently 11 o'clock and I had decided that this week I was going to embark on the 5am challenge. I used to get up quite early and then I don't know what happened this year but I am ready to get back into that habit so this week hopefully I remember but I'm going to try and get up at 5am every day and see what happens and I feel like I've already ruined it before I even started because it's 11pm I watched Love Island and then it's like now it's time for I be the weekender and then watched that and now it's 11 and I need to sleep because I have a dentist appointment in the morning and I have so much well I've done so much work I have an essay to finish writing we'll technically start writing but I've done the plan I know what I'm writing that I need to hand in tomorrow and I just need to get to sleep because I want to wake up at five go to the gym get my routine in actually eat breakfast because I've been skipping that these days and it's not good but yeah Let's jolly on with the show. Human reports on one person already using the brand new system. What am I doing up for this hour? I just, I'm so tempted to just turn around and go back to bed, but I know I really shouldn't. I couldn't even fall asleep yesterday. It, it happens to just be that the night that I decided to get up at 5am, I can't fall asleep. It was too hot and then I had to crack over the window and then I felt too cold. It was just all sorts of things. But it's now like 5.30 and I'm out of bed. Let's get on with our day. I think I'm going to... I planned what I would do if I got up at 5 and I did, so I don't think my body's ready for what's about to come because I'm going to be so tired later. But I'm going to head to the gym, probably have some coffee, head to the gym, get some breakfast, go do some work, and then I have a dentist appointment so I need to go to that. But let's see how this goes. And I hope I don't crash at like 6pm because... Actually, I could crash at 6pm. But that would be very antisocial of me, so... Let's see how this goes. <laughs> Okay, it's about five past six. I'm leaving to the gym. I'm just gonna chuck on the jacket. And we out about an hour and 10 minutes for my uh, alarm to go off and we finally be doing something. But yeah, it's cool, it's day one. We're getting there. We will smash this challenge. Just saying, I never factored in how cold it is at this hour. But we move, we move. <laughs> I didn't realise how cold it was outside and now my hands feel like, fingers feel like they're going to fall off but we made it, we're here. Let's get on with it. <laughs> eight o'clock I've actually got myself a bagel a bagel with cream cheese some breakfast and my protein shake so normally I'd still be in bed at this point but now the bed is done I think we get used to this <laughs> Twelve, 
and oh too much flare and apart from like the mild tiredness i'm feeling good we've got a lot done i just got back from the dentist had an appointment uh just to check up and now we head in to do some work i think i'm gonna work my room for a bit and then head to a library in town and then i can also grab lunch while i'm out i think i might go to leon because i haven't been there in ages and it's also a place where i could like eat and work so let go bye I just look more respectful, shouldn't and, I? And Lucius. The vlog. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I should have changed my clothes. <laughs> yeah, I know. We're both wearing hoodies. It's terrible. Yeah. We are disgusting. Because the vlog's <laughs> never seen you two in hoodies before. Feeling good. Oh. Hey, feeling good. Like I should. I'm surprised I'm not, like, falling asleep. And I wasn't really falling asleep at all today, so... It's been a good day. I feel like I just spent a lot less time sleeping, which is what I would have normally done. And I just spent a lot more time doing things. So yeah, tomorrow I've got a lot of things to do. I have, I should probably list it out to be honest, so I'm clear, but a lot of things, okay, just a lot. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna head to bed now and be up at five tomorrow again. Yay, woo, go us. I think I'm gonna head to the gym again. It was just like a nice pump in the morning, um, but yeah. See you there. Okay. It's about 5.40. And I'm alive. Quite tired. But alive. So tempted to just go to bed. Mm. Let's do this. Let's do this. Don't hate me. I fell asleep again and I woke up at like seven. <sighs> I actually hate the world. But yeah, I still have time to do things. I'm going to get changed, get ready, have some breakfast, and then head to my lecture at 9 a.m. So, although I technically failed my challenge today, I don't think I failed it that much, like, we're okay. I'm just gonna now head to my lecture, and then I've got another lecture, and then I'm going for a polo lesson, and then I've got a tutorial, so it's quite a busy day. So let's head. Oh my god, there's ice on my bike seat. It's like two, minus two degrees today, but we move. <laughs> How is it 12 and I'm still up? This is why I found it difficult to get up in the morning. I'll quickly clean my room and go to bed because sleep is important. <sighs> I don't know how I'm bearing on this challenge, but you can be the judge of that. Let me know. <laughs> it's day three and I deliberately put an alarm on for 20 minutes later at 5.20 because I went to sleep quite late yesterday. And at five o'clock, my eyes just opened and I was just like, ah, I'm awake and my alarm hasn't gone off. Did I miss it? And then I realized that it was before my alarm was even supposed to go off. So clearly there is something as like a body clock. And if there is, it's working. So yeah, it's 5.30 and I'm about to head to the gym. Let's do this. My eyes are actually in pain because I went to bed at like two because I'd... I don't know what it is about knowing that I need to get up at five, that my body's just like, yeah, we're not going to let you fall asleep for a solid two hours. You can just sit there and stare at the ceiling. Thank you. Goodbye. Oh, my hair's everywhere. Okay, it is seven o'clock. I am back. Time to shower, get ready. I have a 9 a.m. to get to. We can do this. But I could so easily pass out right now. So it's Wednesday evening and I had quite a productive day today. I got some of the work, I had a couple of contacts hours in the morning, got some work done in the philosophy library. And yeah, I, I'm i gonna be honest though, I was starting to feel so tired during the day. Um, and I got back to my room and took like a 45 minute nap, which I kind of don't mind because I get so much more time in the day that I kind of feel less stressed in the afternoon. If I do take a bit of a nap, I have the liberty to. Um, 
But yeah, and now I'm just about to see one of my friends and we're gonna go to the pub for a bit. Um, but yeah, might come back and do some more work. <laughs> I'm just so sleepy. Mm. Oh god, let's go, let's do this. So I didn't go to the gym this morning. For a day, have a rest day. Um, but then I had a dentist appointment, got my teeth cleaned and polished, which is fun. Um, but yeah, now I'm gonna head to the library. Um, yeah, let's go. It's currently 3am and I'm going home, so there's no bloody way I'm getting up at 5am, so I have failed the challenge! Okay, it went a bit too hard last night, and I got up about 10 minutes ago, and it's 10 to 10, so 5am challenge failed! <laughs> but yeah. I think we we'll would keep it up, even though I can't do it every day, I like that I can do it some days. Obviously when you go out the night before and you go to bed at like 3.30, not the most feasible thing in the world to get up two hours later but i enjoy it on the days that i'm just working having my chill nights i need to run to a lecture because this is a 10 minute walk away and it's in 10 minutes so bye